guys, Julie here. I'm at the Williamsport CNO Canal. It's beautiful here today and it's very crowded. Um, and I am with our boy Capone in a nice heel. Even with how big he is, I can't even feel that he's there. Sometimes I have to look down and be like, are you still there? <laughs> anyway, um, this is a field trip. All our dogs go off property um, and we're out. Sometimes just taking them to a new location um, throws them for a loop. Like, wait, I have to heal here too? And I have to sit when you tell me and I can, I have to lay down. Um, but tonight there are so many people, there's so many other dogs, there's bikes. So we've been practicing our double downs, disengaging with the, and everything around you in the environment, only focusing on your handler, listening to your commands, not reacting to things, not barking at people, not barking at dogs, just being polite, calm, stress-free, no anxiety. Um, and it's been a really, I love taking like what we say finished dogs out, dogs who are towards the end of their program because they're just so well behaved, so polite. And the great thing about them is that they understand everything. So I have my e-collar if I need to give him a reminder, if he starts to push ahead on the walk, uh, if he starts to look intense, there's some people up there. I can give him a tap on the collar. We're working at an eight right now. Uh, so very low numbers. And that just sort of refocuses him back on me. And that is a really great thing to have because I'm seeing so many people struggle tonight. Uh, nearly everyone that I've seen um, has had a dog that is pulling them and barking anytime they see another dog and they just look miserable. Um, so I'm very happy to be with a dog that's under my influence. Good boy. <laughs> Thank you. 